Hey guys, this is TK from TK Photography. I'm out here with JD and Jay. We're yeah. actually late for an exhibition that's we're happening not late. right now. Not late yet. We're but not late yet. yeah, we're almost late because we have 30 minutes. So it's a really hectic day. I'm stressing out. I don't know what's gonna happen. Did you wanna shout out? Hi everybody. Um, yeah, what am I supposed to say? Hi. <laughs> What do you have to say, bro? All I have to say, I'm driving as fast as I can. Yeah. Rewind now! Hey guys, this is TK from TK Photography. You're back again with another episode to our weekly vlogs. Today I'm out here at the TK Multimedia Studios and we are about to have an interesting conversation about an exhibition that I had recently. Um, the exhibition took place at around the 16th and the 17th. Don't put that on YouTube. She doesn't, she doesn't want me to put it on YouTube, but you know, I'm a YouTuber. We're actually rushing right now. We're gonna die. And I'm wearing formal. If you guys can see that, I'm not trying to impress, but we made it in three minutes. We out here. Yeah. We out here in the ball. We out here. Like a hundred. And we're gonna bump this guy right in front of us. Guys, right. And it was a really, really crucial, you know, exhibition to me because I was able to, you know, show out my projects that I've been doing so far for my degree. Um, so before we go anywhere further, I just want to tell you what was happening with the whole video because it wasn't really organized. So the boy on um, the 16th was wearing so professional, ready for action. I was out there wearing a suit. I was out there impressive, you know, looking good and ready for work. Uh, say something, bro. What do you have to say, bro? You know, this is um I'm an illustrator. <laughs> You my work based on the feeling of listening to the tropical dance music. You know, I'm really excited about this project, man. Um, this is, I think this is my first time. Uh, yeah, you guys can check me out. Check me out on Instagram. Uh, at Mpumasura. Yeah, just check my work out. It's really amazing. Um, I'm really proud of what I've done. Thanks. What's up? The vlog, bro. Okay, what's up, man? This yeah, is introduce Alex. yourself and your stall. Yeah, yeah, this is me. This is my work. Um, I kind of like did illustrations to contribute to the township style in terms of clothing, style, and all other things. So basically, I've designed patterns. Then eventually, I'm gonna print them, them out on the fabric and then come up with uh, clothing. Yeah, yeah, you know. Sure, sure. Hello. Okay, bye. Whoa. A, a, a campaign where he's making people aware of their surroundings and encouraging them to recycle. He's incorporated a monster to make everything interactive and more fun. This is TK. Oh, follow me at TK Photography SA. Thank you. This is Jonah from Angola, so she's biased. What do you have to say? Hi. <laughs> So this is Temple Store. I don't know what's happening with him, but he basically has like political posters and he's just redesigning them, adding his feel, his touch, and man, they look really wonderful. Yeah. Look at this spider. Yeah, say something, bro. This is Nyabatlo, Skopo, Nama. Um, JD is doing a comic book. Um, I'm not sure what is the concept with his work, but basically this guy is doing a comic book whereby he's incorporating a South African style as well as the Japanese style. Um, this is some of the screens that he has so far, as you can see. Really, really. And then over here at this corner we have Yolisa. I'm not sure what she's doing. She's creating a coffee shop. 
uh, but this coffee shop is for people that are gonna be working, doing meetings, almost like Starbucks, but for the township. And then on the other hand, yeah, we forgot his name, but basically he's taking Tapiso. But basically, what he's doing is taking traditional, you know, handman's craft and creating it and branding it into actual things because these people actually sell their stuff um, at, you know, markets outside that are illegal. For example, if you guys saw the Soweto, um, you know, vlog and also the, the Soweto vlog and also the Pretoria uh, episode, you'll notice that I did an interview with some few people who, you know, selling their art. But so far, this is what he has. Oh, hi. Everyone, I'm Ogara Bukeme, and this is my exhibition for today's evaluation. Yeah, tell us about the concept, what you're doing. Um, so, we have two main products or projects, if I can put it. Our main one is the one that we're going to do throughout the year, and the second one is our human centered design. My main concept for this is I'm trying to raise awareness with regard to bees and sustaining their lives, the plants that people should plant, and to just educate people more about the bees, the lifespan, and how everything operates because there's a decline in numbers of. I don't think this is you a chair. Who this <laughs> Actually, this is Tepo. He's been in a lot of my episodes. I mean, we've been together pushing, hustling for a long time. We almost dated. We almost, wow, what? No, 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 that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, when it comes to exhibitions, they are so, so critical to a point that most of the times they can leave you really, really, really sad. Now, I was sad as well because I came back after the exhibition, I slept for some hours, you know, trying to analyze myself and trying to analyze my work. Because at the exhibition, we had a lady who was our moderator. She was coming from the University of Johannesburg, which is UJ. And she was there for our graphic design exhibition, looking at our practical project. Guys. So this presentation kind of has like two parts where the first part is the theoretical part where you tell her her concept, you tell her your thinking and you know the, 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 the design and you know the problem solving part and then there's the practical part where you actually display your project and you know get a whole lot of criticism. So I was there getting a whole lot of bad criticism, um, but it, it's good because you can't be perfect at everything. The lady there at UJ, she was telling me about my main project, telling me that I need to reconsider it because it wasn't really linking together with my theory. At that point, I was so heartbroken. I mean, it crushed me so bad. I was there you know ready for action but unfortunately things don't really go the way that we want them and on the second part of my project which is actually a student app which I'm creating you know for finding you know some valuable information I'll talk to that I'll talk about that later on uh, the lady there just gave me some criticism um, about maybe she wants to see more of the wireframe and on the final exhibition she says she wants to see a functional application so I'm out here today at the TK multimedia studios doing some bit of some updates and I thought of talking to you guys in terms of such things and yeah uh, it's really interesting I hope this video covers everything that you guys need to know shout out to TK photography for this fantastic t-shirts hopefully you can go ahead and cop yourself one because it's really really good it's dope quality and yeah um i'm gonna see you on the next episode talking about more about what i do and you know people who i've been you know meeting so far so yeah thank you so much to everyone who showed up 
to the exhibition and gave me support you know it could be physical support or emotional support I really needed that and I must say I'm really working into improving myself and you know investing in my studies or my career so without further ado let me shut down this episode really quick because I have a friend waiting for me and I'll see you on the next episode where I'll be in Pretoria so without further wasting time go ahead and buy our merchandise I'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.